Welcome to the operational video for the Tumbrel Nova tank, otherwise affectionately known as the Tonk. Now this bad boy, as you can see here, uh, drives like a Tokyo drift car and has a giant cannon on top. Uh, it also seems to be made of tissue paper. You're kind of best to strip the shields and the secondary gun off of it unless you actually have uh, someone sitting in the pilot, or sorry, the co-pilot seat, the commander seat, who can use that turret. Otherwise, it's completely useless gun to you. But when you're piloting it, you can flip into third person and you can move in and out of the remote turret. So you are able to drive it, especially if you're using one stick. Uh, left hand is what I use. And then the right one is for the turret. So you'll see in this here, I'm um, uh, Tokyo drifting like a boss. Uh, you want to counter steer when you're doing that. And if you're trying to go up a hill, this is critical, boys. This is really critical. You're going to go at a 45, right? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I was not, okay, 45. Now I'm going up. Great. Now, this is the real killer spot here to drive in this. When you're going uphill, never turn. You m must never turn. Now, you're going to see me execute an amazing Rockford turn here. That's the two maneuvers that you can reliably do here. Rockford turns when you're going backwards, especially if you're sliding down. Treat hills and like big things as kind of like a half pipe. Uh, and then also, uh, you know, turning on a dime like this and the drift turn. Those are the, those are the ones. Now, I'm going to show you some settings here in just a second. We're going to pop in to make driving this tank much more comfortable. In here, you see under vehicles targeting, down at the bottom, you have enter remote turret. First one's for the first remote turret to second three. The other one that you're going to want is exit remote turret. This will let you smoothly move from the pilot seat in and out of the remote turret from either first person view, where I am, popping right into the turret. I can move it with my second stick, boom, shooting things up. It's fantastic here. Still driving, you know, paying attention to where the front of the tank is. It's like shoot sideways, scoot and shoot, all that type of stuff. Then I pop into third person, and I can move cleanly in and out of the turret without having to go and look or anything like that, right? Which is pretty critical for when you're driving. The rest of the video pretty much just shows me driving around, shooting, moving in and out of the turret, and then at the very end that you can use the big pads, big landing pads at the stations here, to repair and rearm. Not actually the Platinum Bay ones. Those don't seem to work. Look at this awesome drifter in there, right? See that? Amazing. Popping back into the turret, driving around, shooting. Can control the turret independently. Fantastic here, right? Back into third person. The other thing you can do in third person here too, which I didn't show, is that if you have a tow of your head tracking and you turn on external view option uh, under the FOIP and head tracking options, you can look around in your third party per, uh, person camera view, which is also pretty critical. I, I did turn it on later and I had you know much more awesome driving stunts that I pulled off, of course. Uh, but this is about sums it up, right? Real quick video. Tumble Nova Tank, the Tonk. It is tissue paper thin. You want to get those uh, signature down. Not so certain. We'll get Hobbs to go over the procedure for getting the signature down as low as possible because I had some trouble with that. Um, but yeah, you can see here, I went back into third person and the camera automatically adjusts. Here I am drift turning around. Seems some of the little rocks, like these are mineables. Um, you just drift through them. It doesn't matter. That didn't matter at all. Not the least. I'm back in first person. I'm looking around. First person, unfortunately, I cannot figure out how to move that tank turret. I don't think you can. Maybe you can. If you can, I have no idea. But you can still shoot it. So it acts like it's stuck a bit more. That's it. Enjoy your tank driving. Learn how to drift like a boss. Don't get shot. <laughs> you will just blow up. Like it seems almost worthwhile just to strip the shield generator off of it completely. Alright. Cheers, boys. Good luck. Remember your training, and you may come back alive. <laughs>